What is up guys? My name is Ryan 18 on the Ryan 18 Forever channel. Happy New Year to you guys out there. Let's get it started. I'm back with another video. My first video of 2013. We're going to start it off with a Raw review. The very first Raw of 2013. I know I haven't done a Raw review in like God knows how long. But pretty much the main topic for tonight is that The Rock has returned to the WWE. I have the Eyebringer shirt. Let's get the review going. We have John Cena cutting a promo on uh, talking about Dolph Ziggler, AJ, and Biggie Langston. Uh, pretty much the three individuals that he was talking about come out. Um, pretty much uh, Dolph and uh, Cena go back and forth uh, talking trash to each other. And um, we are left with that. And then we are left with uh, Biggie Langston talking, saying that Dolph Ziggler will face you, Cena. And uh, we go on into a match with John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, during the middle of the match, uh, AJ Lee and uh, Biggie Langston are uh, removed from ringside from the official. Um, John Cena actually loses his shoe in the match. Um, the referee gets knocked out. Uh, Biggie Langston comes in and uh, performs his finisher on Cena, but Cena kicks out after two after another referee comes into the match and uh, tries to uh, uh, you know, uh, get the cover since the other referee was out uh, outside of the ring. Um, and pretty much John Cena would hit the AA on Dolph Ziggler and uh, pretty much... Uh, you know, winning the match, and uh, John Cena is your victor. Then we have his Eve Torres versus Kaylin. The Divas Championship is on the line. Uh, Kaylin would be a count out. Pretty much, there's not really much to say about Divas matches. The first Divas match of 2013, it was okay, but it still has to be a count out. Then we have his Team Hell No taking on Team Rhodes Scholars. Cody Rhodes with that porn star mustache. I mean, it's so weird. I mean, it's better than mine, but <laughs> what? I mean, but whatever. Um, pretty much Team World Scholars pulls off the, with the victory as Cody Rhodes hits the crossroads on Daniel Bryan, uh, getting getting the victory for his team of Team World Scholars. And then we have his Randy Orton versus Heath Slater, the leader of 3MB. Uh, Randy Orton pretty much takes control of the match from the get-go, um, and uh, after the match, RKO's from all three members of 3MB, and uh, we are left with that, and Orton celebrating. And then we have his Antonio Cesaro versus the Great Khali. Um, Antonio Cesaro with the uh, neutralizer. I mean, hitting Kali with that. I mean, a 420 pound man who is almost who is almost seven foot five. He's seven foot four, and you, and you're doing that. I mean, that's pretty crazy. And also, the Miz was on commentary talking about how uh, Antonio Cesaro is disrespe disrespectful to Americans um, about saying how we are lazy and stuff of that nature. So anyway, Antonio Cesaro pulls off with a victory, hitting the neutralizer on the great Kali, and uh, Antonio Cesaro um, is still the United States champion. Um, it wasn't for the title, but he's still the champ. Um, then we have a Sheamus versus Jinder Mahal. Pretty much Sheamus made a mockery of uh, Jinder Mahal in the match, uh, teasing him around. Uh, during the match, uh, Sheamus gets his ass grabbed, or his arse grabbed by uh, Jinder Mahal, and it's like, whoa, 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 he just grabbed me arse. And... Um, Pretty much Sheamus hits the bro kick on all three members of the 3MB. Not a good night for uh, the, the three-man rock band. Um, you know, first uh, first in the middle, of the, I mean, early on in the night, they get hit with RKO's, and then they get hit with the bro kick. So uh, Sheamus pulls off with the victory, hitting the bro kick on Jinder Mahal and other members of the 3MB. But anyway, then we have is the TLC match. We, it, it is the WWE Champion CM Punk going up against Ryback. And, uh, hold on. But anyway, sorry about that, guys. But, uh, anyway, pretty much, uh, Ryback and, and CM Punk, it was a great match. Um, I don't know, I'm sorry about that interruption. Um, but anyway, pretty much Ryback and CM Punk go at it. Uh, Ryback takes control of the match at the beginning of the match. Um, hitting CM Punk with multiple ladders. Um, Ryback throws CM Punk up and over the top turn, but through a table. Uh, Ryback goes up to the ladder. The lights go out. We have Seth Rollins and D Dean Ambrose at the top of the ladder with Ryback. Um, and they're throwing punches back and forth. Then uh, Roman Reigns uh, um, hits Ryback with the steel chair. And um, pretty much uh, ends, ends uh, Ryback's uh, chances of getting the WWE Championship. CM Punk gets up uh, very gingerly. Um, tries to uh, make it up to the ladder, gets the WWE Championship, and is still the WWE Champion for 414 days. Uh, then we have is a funny segment with Team Hell No saying, uh, you know, going back back and forth with the yes and no, uh, you know, stuff that as they always do, uh, saying yes, no, yes, no, you know, all that stuff. And then um, um, Vicky Guerrero announces that they will begin an uh, an observation or a, 
um, an evaluation, I should say, uh, from Dr. Shelby. And Dr. Shelby will be back next week to give an evaluation on Team Hell No. And uh, Kane says that he's a monster. Daniel Bryan uh, says that he's a uh, he's a creep or something like that. I, I, I can't really remember right now. But they go back and forth, and then Kane says, okay, he's that. And then he's like, no, he's a monster. And then... I don't know, it was a pretty funny segment, but anyway. Then we have Kofi Kingston versus Big Show. Very short match. Pretty much Big Show knocks out Kofi Kingston before the match even starts. And uh, we're left with the World Heavyweight Champion Big Show pulling off with the victory. Anyway, guys, then we have is CM Punk cutting in a very uh, epic uh, pipe bomb or promo. Um, pretty much bashing the WWE Universe. Um, talking about their superheroes. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like superstars like John Cena, Randy Orton, uh, Chris Jericho, Big Show. Um, multiple superstars, um, and pretty much tells the truth on why he actually uh, cut the promo back in back in June of 2011, um, back in Las Vegas, um, saying that he was never for the fans. He uh, mentioned some Hall of Famers such as uh, Shawn Michaels and uh, Edge in his promo, and pretty much says that um, you know he was never for the people and never will be. So um, then we were left with that. Um, CM Punk said that we will not cut to commercial break as WWE wanted to uh, go into commercial break, but CM Punk will not allow it. But then they eventually went, and we are left with CM Punk waiting in the ring after the commercial break. He talks for a little bit more, um, still bashing the WWE Universe. The Rock comes out looking great with a new t-shirt. It says, just bring it with the Brahma Bull in the back. I saw the original when he first came back, the I Bring It shirt, uh, the, uh, oops, the, uh, with the Brahma Bull and then his signature on the back. But anyway, The Rock comes out, pretty much electrifies, and I mean like literally electrifies the whole crowd, cuts a very great promo, um, saying that after, in 20 days, it's t time's up, and uh, pretty much, you know, does some funny things, calling uh, calling uh, CM Punk a, uh, um, you know, Popeye, uh, uh, a crackhead that looks like Popeye, uh, calling him Punk Guy, the crackhead, um, I'm calling him a cookie puss, and the tra the crowd would uh, chant cookie puss for for uh, three seconds. Well, I mean, after three seconds after he said it. It, it was a very funny promo, um, a very very serious promo at the same time. Uh, CM Punk said that uh, you, you, you'll be boxing with God, but then The Rock says, you know, you'll be going one-on-one -on -one with the Great One. And um, The Rock hits the rock bottom on CM Punk completely. That just made, like, the whole Raw. Um, the Rock hits the rock bottom on CM Punk. Holds up the title, th throws it outside the ring. We are left with CM Punk holding the WWE Championship and uh, The Rock saying, uh, 20 days. 20 days. So anyway, guys, this has been my Raw review, the, the very first Raw review of 2013. Let me know your thoughts on Monday Night Raw. Where do you think it will be time for CM Punk's title reign to end at Royal Rumble? Do you think The Rock is the man to do it? A lot of you guys bashed The Rock saying that, you know, he... He's coming back just to win the title, and it's unfair because, you know, he's already been WWE champion, and he's already had his own legacy. At the same time, I mean, The Rock hasn't been champion in 10 years. We'll see what happens, but do you think in 20 days, is it time's up Is is it time's up for Punk? Let me know what you guys think down below. What were your thoughts on Monday Night Raw? Happy New Year to you guys if I haven't said it already. This has been Ryan Suze 18. I bring it. Let me know if you guys are a fan of Team Bring It, or if you're a fan of Team Punk. I'm Pretty much I'm on both sides, but mostly I've always been a Rock fan, so I'm going to go with The Rock. Uh, winning against CM Punk at Royal Rumble. So 20 days. Is it up, guys? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is Ryan Suze 18 with again. Peace. Thank you guys for checking out that last video. Don't forget to subscribe to my Lev, my Facebook page, and my Twitter page is down below where you guys can like me and follow me. And uh, prepare to be electrified with another video coming soon.